Today marks one year since the release of the first set of images from the James Webb Space Telescope, or Webb, NASA's largest and most powerful space telescope that's already revolutionizing astronomy. It's produced some incredible images, mm -hmm. and here to celebrate those discoveries, show us something new, and talk about what is next, NASA expert and astrophysicist Amber Strawn. Amber, I always think it is so cool when we yep. get to talk with you all and see what's happening in outer space, mm -hmm. and we can't wait to talk to you about Webb today and what it's been able to do. Yeah. Thanks for having me. It's an sure exciting day for sure. It is. So a new image just released today. Tell us about it. This latest image is just the latest in delivering on Webb's promise to give us brand new, beautiful views of the universe. So what we're seeing here today is a stellar nursery. It's a region of cosmic gas and dust where baby stars are being born. Aww. Those red jets that you see in this image are the telltale signs of baby stars bursting forth from their stellar cocoons. Oh, baby stars. They look like paintings. I mean, <laughs> really, when, when you look uh -huh. at those images, they almost look too perfect. You know yes. what I mean? That you would think mm -hmm. that it's not real, but it is. But and it it's is amazing to see what, what's happening. Yeah. Amber, talk to us about how you're, you all are able to use this piece of technology with Webb, um, with other telescopes, to kind of give us a more complete view of our universe. Well, the universe itself is filled with light, light that we can't see. So there's light in the universe that's both redder and bluer than what our own eyes can detect. And we can put telescopes in space and design them to specifically see these different types of light. And Webb is an infrared telescope, and that allows us to see through dust clouds where newborn stars are forming. It allows us to see into the distant universe where we've never been able to see before. And and so having these different types of telescopes that see different types of light just helps us get a more complete view, a more complete understanding of how the universe works. Mm. Okay, I think we all can agree you have the coolest job ever. <laughs> so what are some of your favorite findings so far? Well, it's hard to pick. I mean, this last year has been absolutely incredible in terms of the beautiful images that we've seen and in terms of the amazing things that we're already learning in this first year. So if I had to pick a favorite, some favorites, um, the example of the Cartwheel Galaxy is this beautiful example of a galaxy merger. There's all these different types of deep fields where we're looking at tiny pieces of sky and seeing these beautiful images of distant galaxies. So this is um, a perfect example, what you're seeing now, of a stellar death, a star that's exploded and sent its contents out into the rest of the universe. Mm -hmm. And so the, one of the great things about this telescope is we're able to learn so much about the universe, not only of the distant universe, but also nearby in our own solar system. It's really opening up new discoveries in basically every part of space. Well, we, we've seen what its uh, capabilities are and what it's been able to do. Amber, what's on the horizon? What are you all looking to next? Maybe what, what is Webb's next adventure or thing that it might teach us? Well, we have a second year of observations already planned out, and I think we have some very exciting things to learn. We're going to look deeper into the universe to see even more distant galaxies. We're gonna be able to learn more about our own solar system, and in particular about some of the uh, moons in our outer solar system. With this telescope, we're really able to see parts of space that we've never been able to see before. And with some of these deep images, we're really able to, to put new understanding understandings into how the universe works. And I think one of the most awesome things about this telescope, more than just from a scientific stance, stance you know, you were mentioning at the beginning, these images are just, they're so beautiful. They're mm -hmm. almost like pieces of art. Um, and I think it really speaks to the the, how this, this, these images appeal to all of us. It's not just for astronomers, it's for all of us. Yeah, that is so true. Not just for students or teachers or astronomers, but we can all mm -hmm. really appreciate and enjoy them. So if we wanna follow along and keep up with what you all are doing and discovering, where do we do this? Well, there's lots of places online you can visit to learn more about us. You can go to our website, jwst.nasa.gov, and also on all the social media platforms, you can find us at NASA Web. Amber, always a fascinating mm -hmm. conversation when we get to talk mm -hmm. with everyone from NASA and see what you all are up to. Can't wait to chat again. Thanks so much yeah. for um, telling us about the anniversary mm -hmm. of Webb, and we look forward to seeing what it's able to do in the next year. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> all right, when we come back here on